discussing today is Mark Zambro. I've chosen Marcus as I have an interest in the V8 supercar sporting industry and Marcus was one of my family's first four drivers we followed whilst he was competing in the V8 supercars. Biography was written by Sean Callender. Marcus Zambro is the, de the devil racer, published in 2004. A key focus during this broadcast is what is a sport delivery system and how the sporting participant has used it to achieve his sporting career. According to David Shilbury and Pam Keller in this unit textbook, Sport Management in Australia, the sport delivery system is a simple system which gives all participants the opportunity to participate at a level which suits their ability. It allows participants to move up the ranks of the sport delivery system from local club sport, district to regional, state and national to international sporting associations. It is very important to understand that it is not necessary for the participant to move through every rank offered in this system. Some participants may only want to succeed in representing their state in their sport, where others may want to go all the way through and make it from representing their sport at a local club to representing their sport internationally. At the end of the day, it allows participants to be part of the sport that they love and want to be involved in. My analysis will start with discussing Marcus's sporting progress through the use of sport delivery systems, the competition format, his major achievements in his sport, and the sporting organisations involved in his sporting career. Marcus was involved in sport, motorsport. His career involved go-karting, Formula Ford and V8 supercars. He became involved as his dad, Ross, with a huge influence in his life. And because his dad's motivating career was cut short due to the running out of money and not being able to pursue his dream further. At the age of eight or nine, Marcus would look through his dad's photos and that is how his interest in motorsport was ignited. His mum then suggested that he started go-kart racing. Racing wasn't the first trigger point in starting Marcus's career. In his early teens, he started taking his dad to the touring car round at Simon's Plains. He then started to gain more knowledge in motorsport and what his dad had achieved when he was racing. This led to Marcus buying a go-kart. In 1989, he had his first racing Hobart at the age of 13. He then raced for the Devonport City Kart Prix in 1994. In 1995 was his final year in go-karting and he raced an eight-race series around Australia. In the four years of go-karting from a senior level, he won six Tasmanian titles, two Victorian titles and one national title. In 1996, he started the Australian Formula Ford Championship and went straight to the national series rather than starting with the state championship. His first race was in Australia in Eastern Creek in Sydney. In 1998, he moved to Europe to compete in the British Formula Ford. After moving back to Australia in 2001, he signed up with the Stone Brothers Racing in the V8 Supercars, and he ended the five-year domination in 2003 of the Holden Racing Team by supplying Stone Brothers Racing with the first championship. 2004, he became the, fir he became the first driver since Dick Johnson in 1988 and 1989 to win consecutive titles. The competition format for Marcus's career is slightly different as each of the motorsports are different in how they race. Go-karting uses the format of a ladder. This is, this is each participant in each class of go-karting competing against each other to win their class in order to move up to the next class. Formula Ford uses a point, course, point score system where, po where points are awarded to each driver based on their finishing positions. The V8 Supercars also uses the format of point score, and it isn't about winning each race as every driver who finishes the race receives points. However, the, highest the higher position you finish in, the more points you win, and it adds on to your score in the championship. Marcus's major sporting achievements um, were listed above, but also um, are listed in the top, his top 10 major sporting systems in this chart. Due to Marcus being from Tasmania, it was difficult to find his early level sporting organisations as Tasmania is a smaller environment and community compared to Australia with all of the clubs and organisations that have to offer in, motor, in the motorsport industry. However, I was able to discuss the organisations of his higher level racing. The V8 Supercars, which is operated under the auspices of CAMS, the Confederation of Australian Motorsport, um, the V8 Supercars was originally known as the Australian Touring Car Championship in 1960. 
She held championship series in 1999 to 2002, and if Marcus Ambrose was competing for the championship in 2003, it was known as the V8 Supercar Championship Series. As of the 1st of July this year, the series will be known as Virgin Australia Supercar Championship due to Virgin being the new massive sponsor. As part of Marcus Ambrose's V8 Supercar career, he was signed with the Stone Brothers Racing, organisation with owners and brothers Ross and D- Jimmy Stone. From 2013, it was known as the Erebus Motorsport due to Betty Klimenico purchasing one of SBI's racing entitlement contracts. Stone Brothers Racing provided Marcus with the guidance of becoming a better race car driver and helping his car be the best it could be to win races. As learnt in a lecture by Dr Owen Scott, sport development is representative competitions at different levels for participants. National representation is normally the highest honour, but it can vary depending on the sport. The V8 Supercars allows Marcus Ambrose and his fellow opponents to reach the pinnacle of their career, enabling them to race around Australia and overseas. If the V8 Supercars did not exist, it would have forced Marcus and all of the other drivers to join an organisation overseas, such as Formula One, NASCAR or the Motorbike Grand Prix. This would have been extremely expensive for them as most of the drivers started in the V8 supercars in their early to late 20s. Stone Brothers Racing led Marcus to success in his career as they were in the team he signed with to start racing in the V8 supercars. If they didn't offer him to be a driver for their team, Marcus would not have started in the V8 supercars so early nor put another achievement in the Ford books with his consecutive winning titles. I was unable to find many agencies for the assistance of Marcus in his career. However, I did find the government. The government and the state government of each state in Australia have assisted the entire V8 Supercar team as well as Marcus in giving the V8 Supercar Supercar's permission to race in their state. Without this permission, it would have led to less race rounds and quite possibly no V8 Supercars at all. I also want to add that after this biography was published in 2006, Marcus moved to the US to drive in the NASCAR series. He stayed in the US racing NASCAR, finishing in 2014 and coming back to Australia to race as the co-driver in the V8 Supercar Championship Series. Looking at the vodcast and al- analysis of Sean Callender's biography of Marcus Ambrose, The Devil Racer, Sean has allowed me to understand what it is like to have an interest in motorsport racing and how to make it a career, just like Marcus Ambrose did. I've also learnt that you don't need to complete every level of the sport delivery system to achieve the highest. Marcus skipped the state level and went straight to the national level as he believed that he could prove that he was good enough. This unit has also been able to help me learn about the different aspects in helping a participant develop in their sport to become the best they can and achieve their goal. Overall, I believe that the sport delivery system has helped Marcus Ambrose develop his career and has put him where he is today through his major achievements, organisations and agencies involved, as well as the competition format. The sport delivery system is able to suit any sport participant to help achieve their dream and career.